So I keep hearing, or people keep asking me this one question that everyone seems to want to know, which is, is Chinese scooters junk, huh? Are they really just a piece of junk not worth buying? Well, that I'm going to answer uh, right now. Uh, let's get it. So what's good everybody? How you guys been, huh? How have you guys been? You guys been good? I've been pretty good myself. So are Chinese scooters junk? Should you even worry about or bother trying to get them? I keep hearing this, hearing this or like Chinese scooters are junk. They're a joke. They're not worth getting. Forget those things. So this is my opinion on Chinese scooters, specifically Chinese scooters. In my opinion, Chinese scooters aren't junk. Let me, let me break it down for you. Let me give you some kind of analogy, okay? Is the road closed? Oh, snap. Detour. So this is how I see it. Uh, let me let me put it in a way a lot of dudes watch my channel so I'm gonna break it down in a dude format way dudes would understand okay shoes let's go with some shoes I know you're thinking no shoes are for girls why would dudes understand it I'm gonna go on the boy route of shoes just hold on okay say say you guys want a pair of Jordans right brand new pair of Jordans I know those things be like two three hundred dollars right two three hundred dollars so you can either so those Jordans is like the uh, high-class scooter come on man go thank you the Jordans are like the high-class scooter whatever your ideal expensive scooter is that's what the Jordans are then those, that Chinese scooter is like the knockoff pair of Jordans, right? Well, guess what? They're both shoes. They're both scooters. Guess what? They both get the job done. Now, yeah, you can argue one has more better quality than the other. Straight up. Jordans can last you some years. Some knockoff Chinese version of Jordans say, Jordies, let's call them Jordies, might last you a year before they break it apart. But guess what? They ain't gonna cost you no $300 though. You might pay 50 bucks for them. But guess what? Sometimes most people can't even tell the difference. Straight up. Most people cannot tell the difference. Those knockoffs be some decent knockoffs. They won't last you as long, but guess what? You didn't break your bank. You didn't spend your whole paycheck on that name brand scooter. You didn't spend your whole paycheck on those name brand shoes. So you still get to front like you wearing Jordans. So if you want a, a, a knockoff Vespa, you get to front like you own a Vespa. You didn't pay as much. It didn't break your bank, and you still get to have fun with it. So I don't think, yeah, all that just to say, I don't think Chinese scooters are junk. I think they get the job done without breaking the, breaking the bank. And to be honest, just like shoes, if you take care of them, I mean, if you really take care of them, put some time and energy into them, guess what? they can last you a lot longer than average. So if you don't want, you want a scooter, but you don't want to break the bank coming up off a six, eight thousand dollars just for a scooter, then hit that Chinese knockoff style. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it gets the job done, I don't think scooters, Chinese scooters are knockoffs. But in the end, that's just my opinion. 
it's all up to you do what you do uh-oh then hit me a piece of metal in the road y'all didn't say nothing shauna look out none of that but uh yeah it's all up to you do what you do and as always i will see you deuces uh, uh, shauna ramen is out Shauna and ramen because it sounds like I'm just saying Shauna ramen Shauna ramen what is Shauna ramen Shauna ramen but yeah I'm out bye